What you are looking at is a satellite view of a rather unknown circular feature within Namibia. This feature is in fact a large and relatively young impact crater known as Rotter Come. It measures 2,500 meters wide and 130 meters deep. So, exactly when did this impact crater form? How large is the impactor which formed it? This video will discuss this well-preserved impact crater and describe the scope of the impact. The Rotterdam crater can be found in the far south of Namibia. Specifically, it is 70 kilometers northwest of the border with South Africa. Before I continue, I need to note something. My hypothesis on the object which formed this crater will be controversial as it is difficult to prove. However, based on kinetic energy calculations, what I am about to propose is just the best fit given the available evidence. It contrasts with the accepted theory of a minuscule 5 meter wide asteroid forming this massive crater which doesn't in my opinion withstand a basic eyeball test and seems off by an order of magnitude. Thus, I do not think the Rotterdam crater was formed by an asteroid but rather a small comet. Approximately 4.8 million years ago, a 250 meter or 820 foot wide fragment of a comet was on a collision course with Earth. Unlike the vast majority of asteroids, this mass of material did not form in the inner solar system. Rather, it formed in the outer reaches of the solar system beyond what is now the orbit of Neptune in a section called the Oort Cloud. Since denser elements within the solar nebula were not as common this far out from the sun, the resulting objects which formed were far less dense than their asteroid counterparts with a density approximately three-fifths that of water. The average comet consists of equal parts ice and dust, a moderate amount of carbon monoxide, some methane, and ammonia. As this comet approached Earth, it was traveling much faster than any known asteroid at approximately 51.7 kilometers per second or 116,000 miles per hour. For several weeks before it impacted, a beautiful comet would have been visible in the night sky. As this comet entered the upper atmosphere, it began to rapidly burn up and disintegrate due to its composition. This caused the rapidly moving comet to fragment at an altitude of 106 kilometers. Only three seconds later, the little of what remained of the large comet impacted an area within a radius of 800 meters generating a massive explosion. This explosion was equivalent in energy to the detonation of 72 million tons of TNT which generated a destructive shockwave. Mere moments later, a 3,000 km per hour wind swept across the landscape instantly killing all life in a 12 km radius. Although there were likely no trees nearby, any which did exist in a 25 km radius of the blast would have been flattened. Concurrently, this impact generated a magnitude 5.8 earthquake on the Richter scale which would have been felt in a 300 km radius. Due to the immense size of the blast, the associated shockwave from the impact would have been heard up to 2500 km away. After the dust had cleared, the scope of the impact event became clear. A new crater measuring 2,500 meters wide had been formed which had a depth of 250 meters. However, Rotterdam Crater is not nearly as deep as it used to be. In the more than 4 million years since this impact, more than 100 meters of the crater has been filled in by sands blown in from winds in the Namib Desert. If you were to visit this crater, do not expect to find any fragments of the impacting comet as it was completely vaporized on impact. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.